Hey, what's up, y'all? It's N Square Sports back. Today, we're going through the NFC division by division. So we are starting with the NFC North. So we'll start with the Chicago Bears. The Bears last year went 12 and four. Um, I have their four as six and 10 this year and their ceiling of 11 and five. So Nick, what do you have on the Bears? Oh, yes. Okay, so the Chicago Bears, I mean, they're, they're a pretty good team, great defense. Um, so we, the floor and ceiling for this team, at least for what I believe, is a seven and nine. I think it's a pretty, a lot of things are gonna have to go wrong for them. They're a pretty good team. They have lots of stars on the team with Khalil Mack and uh, Fuller. Trubisky's growing and Tariq Cohen. You got Allen Robinson as well. You got some players in that team. The ceiling I have for them is 12 and four. I don't think their offense is potent enough to be able to beat a lot of teams, but their defense is going to be give them a good ceiling. You got any thoughts? On that. Yeah, I think it. their offense is going to go as far as Trubisky lets them go. I think with Trubisky, he's been more limited as of the uh, last couple of years. If he can take his game to the next level, I think that can be a Super Bowl caliber team just with that defense, and he has a lot of weapons on offense. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Trubisky's, uh, it's pretty much like you said, it all rides, and that's my players to watch is really Trubisky in that offense. And can Trubisky take that next level that, I mean, I've seen other quarterbacks like Jared Goff, I'd say Deshaun Watson, definitely Pat Mahomes, Carson Wentz, all of these quarterbacks go to the next level. I don't trust Trubisky to go to that level. He's good, but I need to see one more step up. Yeah. Um, the biggest games, and I'll be honest, just saying this up front, all my biggest games for this division are the same, and it's going to be division games because I'm a high believer in this division. Um, I believe it's going to be coming down to who can have the most wins within the division. Yeah. And really, the Bears have to win, go 4-2, and 5-1 and one in this division in order for them to claim for the division. Um, the division games they have won, I believe, on Thanksgiving. They're going to have, they're going to start the season off against the Packers. It's a massive game if they can start off with a win, especially against one of the best rivalries in the NFL. And... Yeah, in the game, so, yeah. Yeah, I agree there. So let's move on now to the Green Bay Packers. Uh, last year, they went 6-9-1. and one. They did not have a good season last year. Um, I have their floor at 7-9, and nine, and their ceiling at 13-3. and three. I think they've improved a lot. Their entire roster is much improved. Aaron Rodgers is back and healthy now. So, yeah, what do you think about the Packers? Yeah, 6-10, and 13-3 is my ceiling and floor for that. I... Pretty much sort of what you said. Rodgers is going to determine this, and especially the new coach, Matt LaFleur. They're really going to want to base their whole game on the the run. That's sort of what the LaFleur um, coaching tree that he comes from. They love running the ball and then running the ball first and passing second. If Rodgers can work in this offense, I think that it's going to, I think it's going to work. The biggest issue I have, and this is sort of the players to watch, is who's their number two receiving weapon? Because they have Devonta Adams, debatably top five receiver. He's really talented. He's becoming one of the best. But I don't know who the number two is, whether you think it's an Amin Icarus St. Brown they drafted last year or some of the receivers they drafted this year. I, they don't really have a second receiving weapon. Jimmy Graham's getting old. I mean, do you have anything else? No, I agree with what you said. I think the division games, like we said before, is going to be important for the Packers when they play the Bears at the Bears. The tough defenses, I think um, it's going to be – I think their defense has improved a lot, so that will definitely help Aaron Rodgers out because in previous years their defense has been what's holding them back. And I think with a better defense, Aaron Rodgers will play even better. So. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the defenses here. Yeah. Um, they had they drafted two uh, cornerbacks last season. Only one's really panned out so far. The the cornerback from Iowa can't remember his name right now, but he's improving. He when healthy was a, he was not shut down, but he did his job really well and effectively. So the biggest games is like I said earlier, division games. They need to start off well and they need to win the division games. Last year they didn't do so well in that. They tied one with the Vikings. They lost to the Bears. And the Lions even beat them in the end. I mean, it was one of their worst seasons against the division, and Rodgers needs to show up in these, yes. these, these big-time games here. Yes. Um, 
that's really what's going to define their season and take them probably from that 6 and 10 to 10 6 which is probably a pretty accurate representation of their season yeah so now let's move on to the uh, minnesota vikings they went 8 7 and 1 last year um i think they'll end around the same i have their 4 at 5 and 11 and they're stealing at 9 and 7. i'm not a huge fan of this team in general i think um after they lost case keenum they really uh they really messed up there. I think they overpaid a lot for Kirk Cousins, and I don't think he's that much better than Case Keenum. But um, so yeah, I have their four at five and eleven. They're ceiling at nine and seven. Their defense is still really good, um, but I just don't see them getting it better than they were last year. This is really the Texans of the NFC. Um, they have a bad offensive line, but almost everything else is there. It's they're really close. I am really high on this team, and they're my, honestly, my Super Bowl dark horse contenders. I am really high on this team, and I'm not a fan of Kirk Cousins. They recently hired uh, for their offensive co coordinator, Gary Kubiak. He loves to play action, loves uses tight ends. Um, their offense is built to work like that. Dalvin yeah. Cook play, can play in that system. They have two great wide receivers in yeah. Stephon Diggs, the best wide receiver core, in my opinion. Um, they have potential. They have the defense. If their coach Mike Zimmer wasn't so stubborn on how he uses the defense, maybe they'll grow a little bit. But they have potential. I have their floors five and eleven. Ceiling is thirteen and three. Kirk Cousins had an underrated season last year with four thousand yards, thirty touchdowns, ten interceptions. That O line held him back, and I am a strong believer on that. And I believe if he had a little bit more of an uh, offensive line, which they did take steps to slightly improve. I think this team can compete with any in the NFL. I thoroughly believe that. I think they had a worse offensive line last year, and they played worse than, or no, they had a better, I think they had an even better offensive line than they did the year before with Case Keenum, and they played worse. And with Gary Kubiak coming in, Case Keenum played for Gary Kubiak, so I still don't understand why they let go of him, especially with Gary Kubiak coming. I think Case Keenum would have made them better, but I just don't really like the move to hire Kirk Cousins for a big deal, but that's just my opinion. So let's move on to the Lions now. Um, I have their four as one in 15 this year, oh and they're ceiling at only five and 11. Uh, last year, let me try and pull it up. Last year they went six and 10, so they, they didn't play too bad last year. I just don't think they're a very good team. <laughs> I think they have three other teams that are much better than them in the division. So I just think with the tough division like they have, I don't think they're going to, I think they might lose maybe every single division game. So I think it's going to hurt them. So <laughs> I disagree with that in the Lions. My floor is 4-12 and 12 and the ceiling is 11-5. and five. I think it's really hard for teams nowadays to go 1-15. Uh, <laughs> and 15. But um, I'll explain why I'm high on them. I believe Matt Stafford is one of the more underrated quarterbacks in the NFL, and he's probably one of the more talented. Doesn't mean he produces, but he's one of the more talented. Um, the recent draft of TJ Hawkinson, who was created Iowa. Iowa is known for their tight end predictions with tight ends like George Kittle. Um, I believe that he's going to make an instant impact. They have Kenny Galladay, who's a pretty good wide receiver, and they have Marvin... Uh, Marvin... Yeah. Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones. Um, the O line's iffy, and I don't know how that will be. That sort of sketches me out. But their defense has talent. Matt Patricia is a good defensive coordinator. I believe this team can. They can hold their own against a lot of their division opponents and a lot of the NFC opponents. The schedule is it too hard? It's difficult in some areas. It's sort of on and off. I believe they're a team that's that has the potential to beat any team but lose to any team that's how i would describe them i they lost last year they beat the super bowl champions the new england patriots they got they blown them out they blew them out no chance but they also got blown out by the jets that's pretty pathetic uh this team is so on and off it's hard to predict them I just like Matt Stafford as a rebounding this year. He had a horrible last year, year last year, and this year I think him, I see him rebounding. Yeah, I just, I just think with them being so off and on, I think I would bet lower because of their division. That that's the main reason I have them so low is because, like, if they were in 
a bad a worse division then I might have them a little higher but since they're in a tough division I have them lower and I also think if Matt Patricia could like you know stop using a pencil in his ear with a laminated play sheet you know that might help him a little bit but okay so that is the end of this video um stay tuned for more NFC content and we'll see you guys next time